three feet from gold. During the gold rush days, there was a man who determined to dig gold and get rich. He took some equipment with him and went to Colorado and started digging for gold. After weeks of hard work, he was rewarded by the discovery of the shining ore. He needed machinery to bring the ore to the surface. So, he covered up his mining site and returned home to raise some money for the machinery that he would need to bring the ore to the surface. Relatives and neighbors helped, and he raised the money he needed and traveled back to the site to make his fortune. Things started well and before long, he had enough money to clear his debts. He was so excited, everything from this time on would just be profit and things were looking good. Then, suddenly, the supply of gold stopped. The vein of ore disappeared. He kept on digging, but he found nothing. He kept on digging with hope, but without any success. Finally, he quit in frustration and sold his machinery to a junk man for a few hundred dollars and returned home. After he returned home, to his disappointment, the smart junk man called in a mining engineer who checked the mine and calculated that there was a vein of gold just three feet from where the man had stopped digging. The junk man went on to making millions from the mine. The man who had given up determined to learn from his mistake in giving up too soon. He went on to become a remarkably successful insurance salesman. The Moral When things start to get hard, try to persevere through the adversity. Many people give up on following their dreams because the work becomes too difficult, tedious, or tiresome when they get closer to the finish line than they may think. You need to persevere through difficulties and stay focused if you are to become successful. Whenever you feel like giving up on your dream, remember that you may be just three feet from gold, and if you push just a little harder, you will succeed. Share this video and inspire others. Like this video and inspire me. Stay positive and stay blessed wherever you are.